hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to do one aws sns practical so we have one of the business requirement first we'll try to understand the business requirement and then we will go for the practical parts so let us start so we have one of the aws s3 bucket in this s3 bucket we are getting a files on a daily basis so this is the files which are getting dumped into this s3 bucket from our external resources from external client and these files are very much critical so these files are very much critical all the booking related informations are available into this particular file so from business perspective it is a very much important now what business wants because these files are very critical so we should have one alert mechanism so whenever any file is coming into the aws s3 then we should get a notification so we have a one dedicated support team that support team should get a notification whenever the file is coming and whenever the file is not coming so then they should start looking into the issue they should start looking into the issue they should start raising the incident so for that we have to create one mechanism so if anyone will dump any file into the aws s3 then we should have one alert mechanism which will send a email to the support team like the file has been received if the file is not received then the support team will start raising an incident and they will start looking into the issue so that we can quickly resolve this all the issue and we can quickly monitor this particular file so that is the thing we have to build so if anyone will dump any file into the aws s3 what actually we will do we will try to create one aws sns with the help of the aws sns we will try to create a notification and this notification will go to the support team and the support team will be the subscriber here so let's do a let's start doing a practical let's understand more about this so this is my aws console if i will show you i have created one aws s3 bucket so let me open this aws s3 you can see this is the s3 bucket which i have created now if anyone will dump any file into this particular bucket then we should create one notification for that so how actually we can do so with the help of sns we can do but in aws s3 itself you can set up the sns so what actually you have to do click on this particular bucket go into the property in the property go down you can see one event notification is there so click on the create event notification so we'll click on the event notification i'll give the event name as a sns notification file you can give any no any name for this event name and after that what actually the event type so i want a put means anyone will upload any file then only we should get a notification so that's why i have given the put but if you want post copy or any kind of the events that for that also you can have a notification so i created the put similarly if you if anyone is deleting the file so for that also you can create a notification that is also one of the business use case and after that you can see destination what is the destination so destination is the sns topic the notification should go to the sns topic and from this sns topic we will try to send a email so sns topic we have selected now you can see choose from your sns topic so you should have a one sns topic so let's see how actually we can create a sns topic so i will search for the sns here open link in a new tab so we are opening sns you can see this is the topic we will give the topic name as a sns practical or any name you can give click on the next step we'll go with the standard because we want a email right so we'll go with that and after that click on the access policy so publisher can be anyone and the subscriber can be everyone that is how actually i'm going but we have advanced that also we can do that and uh, data protection policy we'll go with the basic only and uh, policy the number of free try if any notification is getting filled then also you can have a, a policy for that but we are not going with that status logging so if you want to have a logging that also you can do that but i am not going with that after that just click on the create topic 
so you can see you have created one sns practical this is the particular topic we have created now after that what actually we'll do we'll try to create a subscription so in this case who will be the subscription the mail should go to the support team so support team will be the subscriber so for that we should have a subscription so i'll click on the create subscription protocol is the email and the, after that you have to provide your email address so i will give so i am giving my name uh, my email id but uh, if you have a support team then you can give the dl of your support team after that click on the create subscription once you have created a subscription you can see it is showing the pending confirmation so we'll go to the i'll open my email i should have received one uh, no notification you can see first i had to subscribe so that i will be able to get the email so i'll click on the confirm subscription so you can see i have subscribed it i'll go to the topic so you can see it is now confirm now we have created one topic sns practical i'll go to the s3 once again so i will select the sns topic so this is the to uh, sns topic we will select which we have created just now and after that click on the save changes so you can see it is now ready now we are uh, good with the practical now let me try to dump any file so if i will if i will dump any file then i should get a notification for that so if i'll click on the add file let me dump any file here let me dump this particular file i have dumped this particular file i will click on the upload you can see it is succeed now in my email i should have a one notification for that let me see you can see aws notification if i'll open this you can see this particular event i got notification for that like you can see uh, i am getting all the log for that particular event but this uh, this particular logs also you can monitor with the help of the lambda and all that kind of the things you can do uh, so if you will see the bucket name is this particular uh, bucket uh, where the file is uploaded this particular file is got uploaded so this kind of the notification we can set up okay even you want to have a particular uh, subject name and all that also you can do that so you can see the event name is put activity means the anyone files have been dumped into that particular uh, bucket so that is how actually we can uh, set up all our our notification with the help of the sns i hope you got it that's it in this video thanks for watching